In this video, I'm going to show you two easy ways of adding custom fonts to your website using basic HTML and CSS. Starting with option one, which is adding a link from Google Fonts. So in your browser, go to fonts.google.com where you'll find a bunch of fonts that are completely free to use. Then click a font you like and scroll down and this is where you'll see how many styles it has or how many different font weights it has. Then you take all the ones you want to use. I'm going to go for the 4 and the 800. And on the right, you will see some code. Start by copying this first code and open up your HTML file. Then paste it right above your link to your CSS file and save. Next, you want to open up Google Fonts again and get this second piece of code and copy and paste that into your CSS file. Here we are going to select the H1 headline on our website, then type curly brackets and paste the code and save. If we reload our page, we can see that our custom font has been loaded to our web page. This font is quite bold though. What if I want to have it thinner? Well, then we type font weight within our H1 tag. And because I included the 400 font weight from Google Fonts, I can type 400 here and save. Refreshing our page shows that it has loaded the thinner font. Now for the second option of adding a custom font, which is downloading it and hosting it yourself. So we are going to delete the code we just wrote and start from scratch. Back in Google Fonts, instead of clicking the font weights, we are going to download this font family up in the right corner instead. This downloads a zip file, which we are going to right click and extract. And inside the folder we just extracted, there is a font file that we are going to copy and paste into the same folder as our CSS file. Or if you're using VS Code, simply drag and drop it into the same folder. With this method, we don't need to change anything to our HTML file. We do need to add some lines at the very top of our CSS code. Start by typing at font, then dash, then face, and then curly brackets. Inside the brackets, we are going to write the font family and the name of the font you want to reference in your CSS. This can be anything you choose, but we are simply going to call it the name of the font which in this case is Merienda. Then we want to add a link to the font file we downloaded by typing src, then URL with brackets, and inside those brackets we type the name of our font. Or in VS Code, if you start typing the name, you can simply select it if it's in the same folder. Then we save our file and reload our web page with our custom font loaded. Give this video a like if you found it useful. My name is Adamir and I switched my career at the age of 30 to become a developer. If that's something that interests you, I suggest you subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos on how to become a developer and coding tutorials for beginners. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.